All right, guys, so the Oxygen OS 16 update is just around the corner and it's got stuff that's going to make your OnePlus phone look better, feel smoother, natively apps are going to be more functional than ever before, there's more meaningful AI stuff and a lot of ways in which you'll be able to now customize your OnePlus phone. So let's go one by one starting with the home screen. Now, I bet you're wondering how to make it look like this. So if you long press an app icon on the home screen, you'll now be able to expand it to add more of that app's shortcuts. And you can also resize it into a vertical pill or a horizontal pill. And obviously, different apps will be able to give you different shortcuts. So in WhatsApp, it could be adding more contacts or on Instagram, it could be a shortcut to a new post or directly to your DMs. In other words, app icons on the home screen are basically like very high function widgets. Next, the command center looks nicer and now you can even move the media, the brightness and the volume toggles around within this area. Earlier in Oxygen OS 15, you could not move the media and the brightness sliders. Also, uh, you get new widgets now. Firstly, the widgets list is now categorized alphabetically, which wasn't the case earlier. So it's a lot neater and easier to find the widget. Secondly, there are now new widgets that we didn't have in the previous version of Oxygen OS. So there's now the battery widget and a contact widget that lets you pin favorite contacts onto the home screen. There are also a lot more differently styled clock widgets that you can choose from. Plus, there's more in files and one where you can also manage your other OnePlus devices. Yeah, and I think that's pretty much it on the home screen. But let's talk about the, uh, the app drawer. And the first thing you'd notice is that now it has a list view of all the apps, which is what you're used to. And then there's a categorized view of all the apps. We've seen this somewhere. Uh, second, and I love this, is that you can just run your finger on the alphabets to narrow down to the apps that start with that alphabet and then you can swipe your finger to that app to launch it. And third, and it's a small one, is that they've moved the search bar now to the bottom, making it a lot easier for you to reach and start search. Now, <laughs> let's come to the fun stuff, the lock screen. First of all, you can now have the always on display with the wallpaper showing too. So within always on display settings, there's a full screen option and you can, you know, uh, that way have your phone always look like this. However, there, there is a catch to it. Uh, it only stays like that for five seconds and then shuts off to save battery. So while the functionality is there, it's not truly always on. And so if you really want it to be always on, you'll have to switch to either seamless or classic and then within that set it to all day. But hey, there are some really cool lock screen clock styles that you could play with now. Uh, and so if you go into home screen settings, click on themes, you can see that there are plenty already made for you. You can edit them further with a wallpaper of your choice. But there's one really cool thing that you can do uh, with your lock screen wallpapers. So if you go into any theme that has text and then choose a wallpaper of your choice and then click on custom and tap here, it's going to generate a caption that goes really well with the wallpaper you just chose. And if you don't like it, you can just, you know, generate another one too. Plus, you get the option to change the textile and the size so you can really get the whole look to work for you. And if you think about it, then you've got unlimited combination of wallpapers and text and color. So I think it's pretty cool. Lastly, just one tiny addition to edge lighting. You can now enable this for incoming calls as well. Next, OnePlus has also upgraded some of its native apps that you obviously end up using a lot. For example, the gallery or the, uh, the photos app. So, you know, it looks a lot clean and minimal and it has this nice frosted look to some elements. The older one just looks a little clunky in front of that now. Secondly, albums are displayed in this sleek, easy to read list than the big blocks we saw in Oxygen OS 15. The app can automatically and intelligently categorize uh, photos depending on what's in it or what they're about, which I think is quite handy. And lastly, you've also got the ability to now customize what you see in the Photos app. So you can now reorder elements or even decide to not see them at all. And you know, even the, uh, the Voice Recorder app has significant changes. Firstly, it can generate a summary of the entire recording by just, you know, clicking here. There's also AI Clear Voice that can enhance audio clarity or voice clarity. Also, it lists your call recordings here and it can generate a summary out of those as well whenever you want. And you know, none of this was there in Oxygen OS 15. So I think this is pretty cool. Now, if you're a gamer and while playing a game, if you open gaming tools, there are quite a few changes there. Firstly, you get this new speedometer style look and all three modes are now visible up front, making it very easy for you to choose them. Unlike earlier, where you had to scroll to select a mode. On the left side, you will see they've split into performance functions and other tools. Within performance, settings like hyper frame rate and touch response are up front, which you're more likely to use. You can also just scroll down to tools and here all the settings are now in this large icon size, much easier to tap them compared to, you know, the smaller pill shaped buttons earlier. 
Next, if you guys want to know about AI, let me tell you. But first things first, OnePlus has integrated Mindspace app with Google Gemini. And I think this is a very significant move because I see other brands trying to take the same path as OnePlus on this. For example, I handpick some furniture stuff for my living room in the Mindspace app. But then I can ask Gemini to help me redesign my living room from all these furniture items in the Mindspace app. And it gives me an approach in terms of style I could take and shares a stepwise action plan in a table form. And this is super useful. Or let's say over time I've captured some cool things that I want to do in my upcoming San Diego trip. I could just ask Gemini now to help me plan this trip in San Diego from the memories in the Mindspace app. And again, it gives me a day-wise itinerary in a table form. Just think about how easy it makes everything for you. Or let's say I scanned a prescription uh, from a lot of doctors into the Mindspace app. I can again just ask Gemini to pull the prescription by let's say a specific doctor. Anyway, next is AI Writer and I think it's gotten more useful than it was before. So first, you can highlight text anywhere, pull out AI Writer, and then you can rephrase that text in a specific style or tone of your choice. So let's say I want to make this crisp for a quick read, I can. And then of course, I can just copy that stuff and send it to anyone. I can even use AI Writer to write Instagram post captions for, you know, let's say an image. Again, I have the option here to choose a tone of my choice and boom, it's done. But you know, there's one really cool thing that you can do with AI Writer. Let's say that you list all your expenses here in notes. Now you can tap here and then select table. It generates an easy to view day wise expense table. Even better, you can export it as a PDF or an image. I mean, just look at that. I think it's pretty cool. Now, They've also added some AI features for editing uh, photos. So there's AI Relight that helps you, you know, give a glow to dark portraits. And then there's also some improvements to the document scanner, which can now automatically enhance the document by removing shadows or glares. I mean, you know, I genuinely hate it when I'm trying to take a photo of a document and then there's this harsh shadow of my hand that comes on the document. So this takes care of that. Now, guys, there is, you know, like this system level improvement, which is very hard for me to show to you uh, in this video. I can't demonstrate it, but they've somehow managed to make Oxygen OS 16 feel even more smooth and fluid than Oxygen OS 15 ever was. So, you know, they've innovated on technologies like Parallel Processing 2.0 and Flow Motion Animation to really add very subtle, but still very noticeable, delightful interaction that really makes you go like, whoa, that was nice. Even within apps, the way you go from one click to the next, that natural flow of elements and transitions, it's beautiful. And honestly, you'll see this throughout the UI as you use the native apps and even when you, you know, navigate around the system. Now, Oxygen OS 16 has also introduced some frosty glass-like elements throughout the UI. For example, in Photos app, there's this frosted Gaussian blur. It looks pretty neat. It's there in the Mindspace app. We saw it on the elements on the lock screen as well or even when you're trying to unlock your phone with the passcode. And even if you look at the calculator here, it's also got live weather animations that look really nice. And even the notifications have minor updates in the way they're rounded and even in their transparency. So all in all, guys, I think it's a very functional update. I mean, there are many under the hood changes, but I'll tell you this, with this update, OnePlus has again set the standard for how fluid and how smooth UI should be. And I think, this should be the new benchmark. Now, I'm sure you want to know when your OnePlus gets the Oxygen OS 16 update. So I'm going to leave details either in the pinned comment or in the description. So you can check there. But hey, that's pretty much it about Oxygen OS 16. If you guys still have any questions, thoughts, comments, let me know in the comment section. And if you did enjoy watching the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, guys. Hit that bell notification icon and mark all. Really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next one.